This video tells the story of Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool, who has to face a tougher challenge than before. He protects a mutant boy named Russell from a cruel time soldier named Cable. In a room we see Deadpool acting strangely. He lights a stove, lights a cigarette, and lies on some drums filled with petrol. He throws the cigarette in his hand and into the drum, which then makes the drum immediately explode and destroys everything around it. Deadpool intended to kill himself. Six weeks earlier, the super-powered Deadpool was traveling the world, taking out serial killers, gangsters, and monsters. Deadpool took them all out, his actions leading him to a villain named Sergei Valishnikov. After Deadpool took out all his men, Sergei escaped Deadpool's threat by going into a hidden room, and then dozens more of his men came to take out Deadpool. In the car, Dopinder faithfully waited for Deadpool in action. Soon Deadpool jumped into the taxi through the window, Dopinder immediately ran the car to escape the pursuit of Sergei's men. On the way, Dopinder said that he was tired of being a taxi driver, he wanted to be a hitman like Deadpool. Instead of forbidding, Deadpool encouraged Dopinder that one day he could achieve his dream. Deadpool then got off and went into his apartment. There he was awaited by his girlfriend named Vanessa Carlyle, Vanessa who had missed so much that she immediately jumped at Deadpool. It turned out to be their anniversary, they exchanged gifts with each other, Deadpool gave Vanessa a skee-ball coin which was the place where they started dating and Vanessa looked happy, then it was Deadpool's turn to open his gift, Deadpool looked confused at the object, it turned out to be a contraceptive device that Vanessa had removed, which meant Vanessa was ready to have a child, Wade looked happy and could not wait to have a child. In the evening Wade told Vanessa that he was afraid that he would not be able to be a good parent for his child, but Vanessa assured Wade that the presence of a child would be able to give Wade the opportunity to become a better person than before. As the two of them were deciding on their child's name, Wade heard a strange noise. Suddenly Sergei and his men attacked Wade's residence. Wade was able to defeat Sergei's son, but in the end the bullet Sergei fired was able to hit Vanessa right in the heart. Vanessa fell and died instantly. Wade looked very sad and mixed with anger seeing Vanessa dying in his hands. Wade then chased Sergei who ran away. With difficulty Wade was finally able to catch Sergei and take him to the middle of the road. Wade and Sergei were hit by a car. A few days later, a sad Wade was seen. He met his friend Weasel in the club. Wade who was so sad that he peed on the spot. Dopinder who now works at the club cleaned it up. Weasel told Wade to go home and calm down. Then Wade wearing his Deadpool costume came to see Al at his house. Al was sorry for Vanessa's death. Al encouraged Wade that suffering will teach us what we will be. Sometimes it's so bad that we want to die, but we won't really be grateful for life until we feel a little death. Al's words motivated Wade. The next day, Wade went to a zoo, specifically the bear cage. Wade then jumped into it intending to kill himself, but he was still alive. The next day from a height Wade drank cleaning fluid, then jumped and intended to kill himself again, but still failed. Because of his powers, Wade could not die, then he returned home. Deadpool blew himself up which then made Wade enter into another dimension. In that place Wade saw Vanessa who was sitting alone. Wade intended to approach Vanessa but he could not, like there was some kind of invisible wall separating them. Wade asked why he could not approach Vanessa. Vanessa said that Wade's heart was not in the right place. Wade looked confused. Suddenly Wade was pulled back into the real world Wade was still, not dead. The rest of Wade's body was taken by Colossus. At Essex House, a mutant rehabilitation center for children, a child named Russell is seen being put into the place. He is a mutant who will be rehabilitated. Where Wade is now, his body has recovered. Inside the X-Mansion headquarters, Colossus intends to recruit Wade to become a member of the X-Men. Then came Negasonic Teenage Warhead who brought her girlfriend named Yukio. When Colossus read the rules for becoming an X-Men, Wade apparently escaped using a wheelchair. Colossus chased him and said that he should have left Wade when he saw pieces of his body in a pile of garbage. But Colossus helped Wade, because that's the use of friends who will always be there both in times of trouble and joy. Wade says that one of the people who killed Vanessa got away. Colossus then offers to help track him down and bring him to justice. Wade then replied that the person was himself, the one who put Vanessa in danger. Wade was able to kill all the criminals but not himself, even when he tried to kill himself he couldn't die. 
Colossus, who saw Wade with Sad, said, Here may not be the family that Wade wanted, but this is the family that Wade needs. Wade has a good heart. His heart should be here. Wade remembered Vanessa's words, which finally he then agreed to stay and become a member of the X-Men. In a place in the future, a man with a half-robot body was seen sitting in a destroyed building. In front of him were two burnt human bodies. The man then picked up a charred doll beside him. Then he turned his watch and the man seemed to return to the past. After returning to the past, the man then stole a car and broke into several shops. Back to where Wade is who now lives at the X-Men headquarters. Wade is dressed neatly unlike usual. Wade's speech looks polite, but Negasonic still suspects Wade that he is just pretending. At the Mutant Rehabilitation School, the principal is seen preparing to provide mutant rehabilitation therapy to Russell. It turns out that he tortured Russell which made Russell look in pain. At the X-Men headquarters, Colossus tells Wade that there is a mission for them. At the Mutant Rehabilitation School, Russell was seen running amok, Colossus, Negasonic, and Deadpool who were training to become X-Men came to the school and tried to calm Russell, but Russell was able to shoot fire from his hand and attack the X-Men members one by one. Deadpool tried to approach Russell nicely but was still hit by Russell's attack until he bounced. Deadpool then threw his sword at Russell and finally defeated him. Then Russell was put on a power removal necklace that could turn off all mutant powers. Then came the principal to thank Deadpool for stopping Russell's action, but Russell chose to go to prison rather than return to the school, because at the school he was tortured. Deadpool saw the torture marks on Russell's neck then Deadpool took out his gun and shot one of the employees at the school and targeted the principal but missed him. Colossus became angry at Deadpool's actions. He was disappointed with the vigilante action. Finally, Russell and Deadpool were arrested and taken to the mutant prison. In prison without the power he has, Wade looks tortured by the malignant cancer that eats away at his body. There Russell tells him that he can't stand being bullied constantly for being fat and plus being tortured by the principal of the mutant rehabilitation center. Russell holds a grudge and promises to burn the principal alive after getting out of prison later. Russell intends to find the strongest person in prison and wants to recruit him as his partner in order to get revenge. Wade can't do anything because with the necklace around his neck his superpowers are gone. There is only a malignant cancer that spreads through his body. Elsewhere, the half-robot man from the future was paying attention to the news of Deadpool's capture and Russell's imprisonment, and he was seen preparing himself with the weapons at hand. In prison, Russell still intends to find the strongest person in the prison, but his actions make himself and Wade beaten by other prisoners. Wade, who suffers from being unable to do anything without his strength, also tells Russell to stop opposing the strongest people in prison and tells him to be friends with anyone except Wade. Suddenly there was an explosion in the prison. The half-robot man broke into the prison and targeted someone. The man beat all the officers there. The man is seen targeting Wade and Russell who are running. When they meet it turns out that the man is targeting Russell and even intends to kill him. Wade with his remaining strength protected Russell by jumping away from the man which resulted in his body falling on the table and breaking his bones. Wade remained motionless. Fortunately, Wade's necklace had come off when he fell. Wade was able to get up with his strength back. Wade stopped the man who was trying to kill Russell. When interrogated, the man's name was Cable and he came from the future. The two of them fought, Wade fell, and Cable then took Wade's skee-ball coin. Cable was confused why Wade was protecting Russell. Wade said that he didn't care about Russell because the boy always gave him trouble. Russell heard it from afar. Unexpectedly, Wade pulled Cable's grenade trigger and exploded, making them both bounce, fall, and roll in a pile of snow. Wade's head was hit by a rock and he fell into a ravine. While dying, Wade returned to Vanessa but he was still unable to get close to her because he was blocked by an invisible wall. Vanessa said that a child could give Wade a chance to become someone much better. Wade then remembered Russell and suddenly he returned to reality. Wade was alive again. Wade then met Weasel. Wade realized that maybe Russell was the answer to Vanessa's words earlier. Wade wants to save Russell. Weasel finds out that the mutants will be moved to a super secure prison. Wade wants to free Russell but with the strength he has it is still not enough to be able to free Russell, plus threats from Cable. Wade then has the idea to recruit an X-Force team by gathering people who have superpowers. 
In prison, Russell sees a cell with a tight guard he thinks the strongest mutants must be in it. When there was chaos, Russell entered the cell and brought a meal. He intended to invite the mutant to join him. Unexpectedly, the mutant inside responded to Russell's words and agreed to help him. Wade and Weasel recruited several people consisting of Bedlam with the ability to control electricity, Zeitgeist with the ability to spew acid, Vanisher with the ability to disappear, Shatterstar from the planet Mojo World, then Domino with the power of luck, and finally Peter who had no power at all, he saw the vacancy and casually signed up. After the audition was over, Weasel was suddenly stopped by Cable on the road and kidnapped him. In Cable's hideout, Weasel told him all of Deadpool's plans to free Russell. The next day, the trucks moving the mutant prisoners were seen on the road. In the helicopter, Deadpool and his team prepared for action and when the time came they jumped from the helicopter to the truck, while descending with the parachute did not go according to plan. Deadpool's team seemed unable to control the parachute. Bedlam went down but he went down right in front of a moving bus. He was hit by the bus to death. Shatterstar who had difficulty landing and his vision was covered by his own hair landed on a helicopter that was about to fly. His body was destroyed by the propeller, then the invisible vanisher he hit the power line and was electrocuted to death his real figure was finally seen. Peter turned out he could land safely, then zeitgeist he landed right into the garbage grinder. Peter who wanted to help him was hit by acid vomit and made Peter dead. Zeitgeist could not be saved and only Domino was left. With his lucky power he was able to land and run away from various dangers and easily got into the truck carrying the prisoners. Domino manages to take over the steering wheel of the truck. When Cable aims a gun at Domino, Cable is hit by the glare of the truck's mirrors and the shot misses, but then Cable is able to jump into the truck and find Russell inside. Deadpool is still trying to chase the truck. Domino tries to stop Cable who wants to kill Russell. Just as Cable is about to shoot Domino, Deadpool is able to jump into the truck and save Domino. When Domino is back behind the wheel it turns out that the truck's brakes are not working. Deadpool is still trying to stop Cable. Russell was able to escape and free his monster friend. With one blow able to destroy the road and the truck fell down the overpass, Domino also fell but right on the giant balloon. Deadpool then woke up. He called Russell. Russell woke up he was with the giant named Juggernaut. Juggernaut then approached Deadpool and tore Deadpool's body into two parts. Deadpool asked Russell to come with him, but Russell refused. He still remained with his plan to burn the principal alive plus the help of Juggernaut made him more confident. Russell left the place and Domino carried Deadpool to leave. At AL's house, Wade is seen recovering. His legs are now growing again. Weasel, Dopinder, and Domino meet Wade who is recovering, unexpectedly behind them is Cable who also comes to Wade. Cable asked Wade for help because because of Wade's actions he freed the Juggernaut and Cable was unable to stop Russell's actions alone. Cable said Russell would commit his first murder by burning his principal, then Russell became addicted to continuing to kill and as an adult later Russell finally became a serial killer and killed Cable's family, which is what made Cable go back in time and want to kill Russell as a child. Wade said why Cable didn't go back in time when Russell was just a toddler. Cable replied that his time traveler was unstable and he only had two batteries, one to come to the present and the other for him to return to the future after his mission was complete. Wade disagrees with Cable's plan to kill Russell. Wade wants when he meets Russell later he will persuade Russell not to kill and Wade believes he can turn Wade into a good person before Russell makes his first kill. Deadpool invites Cable and Domino to take Dopinder's taxi somewhere. It turns out that Deadpool meets Colossus, Negasonic, and Yukio. He asks for their help to help him, but Colossus looks still upset because of Deadpool's previous actions. Deadpool continued his journey. Meanwhile Russell and Juggernaut have arrived at the Mutant Rehabilitation School, they plan to finish off the principal. Behind Deadpool, Cable, Domino, and Dopinder have also arrived there. Russell stays inside and targets the principal and shoots fire from his hands, while Deadpool's team has to stop the powerful Juggernaut. The three of them are overwhelmed and unable to face the power of the Juggernaut. Then Colossus comes to their aid. Colossus is willing to help Deadpool face the Juggernaut. 
Deadpool, Cable, and Domino are now focused on stopping Russell's actions. They fight against the rehabilitation school employees. Then Russell manages to corner the principal, and when Russell will burn the principal with his power, Deadpool and Cable come to stop Russell's actions. Outside the school, Negasonic and Yukio help Colossus deal with the powerful Juggernaut. They electrocute the Juggernaut and push him into the pool. Cable and Deadpool seem to be having a hard time dealing with Russell who is getting stronger. Russell is getting better with his ability to control fire. Deadpool then tried to give understanding to Russell not to kill anyone. Deadpool apologized for leaving Russell in prison. He also hugged Russell but Russell still couldn't trust Deadpool. He attacked Deadpool to make him thrown. Deadpool then puts on a mutant power removal necklace which shows that Deadpool really wants to be friends with Russell. When Russell is about to unleash his powers, Cable is seen running to get a gun and shoot Russell then Deadpool runs and protects Russell and he is shot right in the heart. Russell looks confused and approaches Deadpool who is willing to sacrifice his life to protect him. Russell looks touched, then the charred doll brought by Cable then turns good again, which means that in the future Russell does not attack Cable's family. Deadpool managed to make Russell a good person. Russell was sad to see Deadpool dying and finally Deadpool died. In another dimension Wade can finally reunite with Vanessa, Cable with a sad face is seen turning his watch. In another dimension Vanessa says that now is not the time for Wade to get together with her. There will be a time later when Wade gets together with her but not now, because there are still people who need Wade's help. Then the shadows of the people around Wade were seen, they were Wade's new family. Vanessa would wait for Wade until it was time for them to unite, Vanessa then kissed Wade and Wade returned to reality. It turns out that Cable turned back time when they just got out of the taxi, before they faced Juggernaut and Russell, Cable was seen putting something on Deadpool's chest, then everything went as before, right when Cable shot Deadpool the bullet was blocked by a coin, it turned out that Cable put the coin so that Deadpool would not die from his shot. Deadpool also realized Cable used his last battery to save himself which meant Cable would not be able to return to the future. Cable also plans to stay here for a while, then Russell with his pen manages to remove the anti-mutant necklace on Deadpool's neck, the necklace requires a code to be removed. Domino then said that the code was 7 and it was true that after pressing the number 7 the necklace could be released. They left the place with Russell as their new family member, behind the principal shouting at them saying that dirty mutants will rot in hell. When Cable is about to beat up the principal Deadpool prevents him, Deadpool does not want violence and does not want any more bloodshed. Then shortly afterwards, Dopinder's taxi appears from the side and hits the principal, killing him instantly. Deadpool's new family walked away from the place. At the end of the film, Negasonic and Yukio repair Cable's time-traveling clock that was stolen by Deadpool. Deadpool uses it to go back in time and prevent Vanessa from being killed, then he uses it again to prevent Peter from being killed, then Deadpool uses it to shoot an alternate version of himself, then Deadpool uses it to the past when Ryan Reynolds is about to sign a contract. Finally Deadpool goes back in time to meet a baby, who is Little Hitler. He holds the baby and changes his nappy.